In this tutorial, we'll look at how to solve the mymodal.show method not working in JavaScript in Bootstrap 5 for your modals. Okay, so I have an example project here. I'm using a modal. Now, I can already tell you that if you did something like this, it will not work, right? So some of you try to select the element like this, right, by ID, right? So I have a, a modal in here. Let's see. You can ignore everything else. But I have a modal here, right? I've collapsed the HTML. It has an ID of booking modal. Right. So some of you will try to select it like this. Right. And then you, you get a reference right to the DOM element. And then you try to do my modal dot show. But that's not how this works. Right. So this is the this is the DOM element. Right. It does not have a method like this. So what you need to do is you, you need to get a correct reference to that uh, booking or to that to that modal. So what you can use is new bootstrap. It looks a little bit strange because bootstrap is using uh, a class here. We're not really used to that anymore these days with JavaScript, but um, I can get a reference to that modal properly like this, right? So it's new bootstrap.modal and then you give the ID and on that one, um, you can call show and all the other methods that are available like hide or toggle. Um, and I'm currently calling that after the, the DOM content has loaded. So basically once all the basics are loaded, this I'm going to show the modal, right? So let's actually check it out. I'm going to load the page. You can see now it, my modal is loading on basically the page load, right? So it's really important that you have mastered the underlying fundamentals like CSS and JavaScript. If you're working with bootstrap or the front end in general, it only takes a couple of hours and um, you'll be a much better developer, right? So definitely check out my courses on them. The links are in the description if you want to take those skills to an advanced or professional level, right? So also make sure that you are linking correctly to the to the bootstrap library, right? So it has a CSS portion and also a JavaScript portion. So what you can best do is go to their homepage, get bootstrap.com. It will always show you the latest version because if you just Google for bootstrap docs, the first link will actually be an outdated version, at least for me. So just go to the homepage and here they show you how to include it via CDN or CDN links. So it has a CSS portion. You can just copy and paste that right here. And then also a JavaScript portion. And these days it already includes popper JS. So you do not, you, you do not separately need to link to popper JS. And in fact, I recommend against it because it can cause bugs, right? So you only need to link to this. Now I'm linking to that here in the head with the defer attribute. We can do that these days. It has certain uh, benefits and it will not block parsing the rest of the page, right? And then after that, I'm linking to my own script. I need to do that because here it will create this, this bootstrap class, right? So then in our own script, we can, we can use that, right? So it will not exist if you link to that before the other script, right? So make sure that you have figured that out as well, right? So make sure you understand the underlying fundamentals. JavaScript here, we have deferred these days, right? There's many things in JavaScript like arrow functions, right? I'm using an arrow function here. Maybe that's, maybe you already know that, but there are many other things in JavaScript, in modern JavaScript that you need to know. So definitely make sure you get it to a professional level, right? So make sure you check out my course. The link is in the description. And another way of getting this reference properly is uh, the following. So I'm going to remove the new keyword. You can also say bootstrap.modal and then it's get or create instance. So it's going to check if you already created an instance um, of this modal before. And if not, it will create it. And this will also work. Let me quickly prove that to you. So here, right on page load, it will, it will show the modal. Now there are other methods available as well. So if you go to the docs, you go to the modal page for their component and then Let's see if I can quickly show that to you. So here they show you via JavaScript methods. These are all the methods available. So there's hide, there's show, there's toggle. And that's basically is you can also pass, uh, right? If you really want to create the whole model from scratch, basically, um, you can also pass options when you do that new bootstrap.modal, but you're going to have to check out the docs. By the way, if this was helpful, I'd really appreciate it if you could like and subscribe. Also, check out my courses on CSS and JavaScript if you want to take those skills to an advanced level. Because in there, we will build some beautiful real-world projects from scratch so you can see how everything fits together and really master CSS or JavaScript. And I will also release other courses soon like React and Node.js. So if you want to be notified, then make sure you are subscribed to the email newsletter. You can find the link in the description. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you soon.